Happy Saturday, everybody. It's Silas Valentine. Today's topic is life artistry. What exactly is a life artist and why would you want to be one? So here's the deal. If you want to create the life of your dreams, if you want to create continual perpetual happiness, then you absolutely need to listen to today's topic, to today's video. It will radically transform your existence. We've already gotten in um, several testimonies of individuals who have been listening to our Facebook Live series, the High Life series on Facebook, and they have told us they've already begun to see dramatic change in their environment, in their work environment, in their family environment. One person even said they already got a $3 raise and a promotion to manager in their workplace simply by using a few of the techniques and the tips that we're given. So what is a life artist? A life artist is somebody who is intentionally creating with every thought, every breath, and every action. They are taking these thoughts and they are being very intentional. They've learned how to use these thoughts as a creative substance and begin to create the life of their dreams. So, without further delay, here we go. How many of you are experiencing stress and anxiety, fears, frustrations, negative emotions? All of these things you are actually creating my, my heart is I, I get reached out to continually by people who are struggling through their existence. They're dealing with anxiety attacks constantly. Listen, if you're dealing with anxiety attacks, I've got great news for you. You are not hopeless. With a few simple basic things that you can learn, that you really can awaken to and learn, you can be set free from anxiety attacks. And it's absolutely my heart to see you set free from those things. What about it? Maybe you're stressed out. Maybe you're stressed out because you got tons of bills, you got family issues, you got work issues, the, the work environment's not the greatest. I'm telling you, you can change it. You can change your family issues. You can create a beautiful environment in your work life. You can absolutely get that raise or that new job or whatever it is that you want. You can create the life of your dreams. And that is what life artistry is all about. Maybe you're, you're flabby. Maybe you're, you're not in the kind of shape that you wanna be in create the body of your dreams. It's all about what you really desire. And if you follow a few simple steps, now listen, it goes a lot deeper. And if you really wanna do a deep dive, you can do a deep dive at Extasis Institute. Dot org. Go to ExtasisInstitute.org. Extasis Institute is an institute I've been running since 2012, and it is designed to help people just like you to be able to achieve the life that they've always wanted and ultimately awaken to the reality of who they truly are, the artist behind the scenes. So if you've just kind of been navigating your life, just kind of going through the life, going through the nine to five, the monotonous existence, and you're ready to escape that monotonous existence, listen into the rest of this video. I'm going to talk about three specific points. Now, there are so many more, and we could obviously talk about these things for a long time, but I want to talk about these three specific points that are going to radically influence and change your existence if you'll follow what I'm saying. These are creative, three creative substances. It's like every artist has paints. If, if you're going to be a, an artist, you have to have a substance in which you are creating with. Some create with paint, some with clay, some, some create mechanically, some create physically, some uh, express themselves through song or through music or through, through dance. Um, these are all creative substances that you need to work with, you need to learn. And so these three creative substances are substances that you must begin to play with and explore and learn. And the very first substance that I want to talk to you about is thoughts. Now here's the deal. Very few individuals that I actually coach with or that come through the school when they first come into Ecstasis Institute, very few of those individuals actually understand what's going on in their thoughts. They've actually created a life of misery a life of frustration, a life of aggravation, of stress, of anxiety. And they're coming into the school because they want to awaken to who they truly are beyond these things that they've believed about themselves. They wanna be free from this handicap, if you will. And so the very first thing is thoughts. How are we managing our thoughts? Are you aware of the thoughts that you're actually having? If you're not aware of the thoughts that you're actually having, then you are randomly throwing paint on your canvas. I want you to picture that the entire universe is an energetic canvas and thoughts are the very first substance on your palette that you're gonna get to create with. So 
use thoughts, learn to use your thoughts and be intentional with your thoughts instead of just allowing random thoughts to distract and ultimately a sabotage uh, what you want to create, the life that you want to create. The first thing with thoughts is you need to observe your thoughts. Learn to observe thoughts without judgment. Stop judging every single thought that you have. A lot of thoughts that you have are simply perceptional thoughts that are coming from the outside. You don't need to judge those thoughts. Simply observe them and recognize that those thoughts are not you. That the thoughts that are going through your mind are not who you are and that you can, instead of allowing a situation to influence your thoughts or another individual to influence your thoughts, you can choose the thoughts correctly. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're in a relationship and that person person that you're that you love comes up to you and says you're an asshole <laughs> well if you if you allow what that person says to influence your thoughts now you are going to go on having negative thoughts about this individual that called you this name now if you're having negative thoughts about them here's the problem you're creating a whole negative vibrational uh, feeling within your own body. So you're carrying, it's not hurting him or her, you're actually carrying this negative vibe because of the thoughts that you have. You can point your finger and blame it on him, but ultimately, him or her, but ultimately the individual that called you this name is not responsible for how you feel. You are responsible for how you feel based on the thoughts that you have. Instead of, so instead of having a negative thought about this person, choose to have a good thought about this person. Look at that person and say, you know what? You might think that about me, but I think you're amazing. I'm going to choose to see you through a positive lens. Now what's happening is you, they might have a negative feelings in your body, but your body is still full of the positive energetic thoughts that are going to create the life that you've always wanted. Because as soon as you begin to enter into the negativity, the stream of negativity, you begin to enter into that place of negativity. What ends up happening is you will end up creating negative things around you. You're going to draw like energy to yourself. The second thing is choose your thoughts intentionally. You get to choose your thoughts. Don't let anybody else choose them for you. I kind of talked about that a minute ago too. Third thing, focus. One of the things that I talk about in the Ecstasis Institute quite a bit is one-mindedness and no-mindedness. But one-mindedness is the idea that you're able to bring all of the attention of the mind into one thing, one thought, one single thought. And it's amazing how my students, when they first come in, they have a very difficult time bringing their mind into this, that one thought, that one place, that one-mindedness. They have a very difficult time focusing on the one thing. I'm telling you, if you can learn how to hone the mind and focus in on the one thing that you want to create, now not only are you energetically creating that thing, but you're actually getting rid of all the distractions in your mind that are interfering with or sabotaging that creative project. Now, let's move on to beliefs. Beliefs are the second creative substance, but it's beliefs are still a thought. It's just a higher energetic thought. It's a very high energy. So you can simply have a thought. For instance, if you have a thought that you're stupid, well, that thought could pass through your mind. You could let it go. It really wouldn't impact you a whole lot. It would bring a little bit of negativity to your existence. But if you think that you're stupid and then believe that you're stupid, and you actually begin to believe it, now you raise, that energy is raised, it's a negative energy that is raised, and what ends up happening is you end up actually creating stupid. <laughs> you don't want to create stupid. Stupid isn't something you want to create for yourself or anyone else. So beliefs are essential because this is the second process, if you will. Once you've begun to focus your mind and be intentional with your thoughts, now you need to believe. You intentionally choose to believe this thing. Now, if you see it, it's already yours. If you can see it in your mind, you see it clearly because you're laser focused in on that thing, and now you're believing it, you believe that it's yours. Recognize this, see it and believe it. Believe that it's yours, and maybe it hasn't manifested. If you're believing for a new job or a relationship, maybe you haven't seen it manifest before you, but if you can see it within you and you actually feel it within you, it's already yours. Feel this positive energy, feel this thing. See it and believe it. Don't believe that you will create it, Recognize that it is already within you. The place that it is existing is within you. Just like a pregnant woman it has the seed within her. She has the seed. She has the child within her before she, the rest of the world ever even begins to see this baby, before it ever manifests to the world, is still in existence. I want you to treat thoughts and beliefs that way. Recognize the thought and treat it as a child within you. You are stewarding this thing as a child. Be very intentional with it, care for it, and treat it this way. And recognize that it is already real. The rest of the world hasn't seen it, and it doesn't matter. 
because you are going to bring it forth in manifestation. Next thing is, whatever you believe, you, you can have, there are no limitations upon him who believes. To him who believes, all things are possible. So recognize this, that there is nothing that is impossible for you. And that actually comes into the third thing, which is pitfalls. Because the, the number one reason people fail, and none of you want to fail, the number one reason people fail is because they actually, while simultaneously believing one thing, they believe another. I was just having a situation with my daughter, and my daughter thought her teacher didn't like her. And I said, well, do you want your teacher to like you? And, and she said, yes. And she's crying and she's very emotional. She says, my teacher doesn't like me. I said, well, if you want your teacher to like you, then you first have to think that your teacher likes you and then believe that your teacher likes you and live within that energetic vibration. Because if, you're, if you are going to school tomorrow, Riley, I said, Riley, if you go to school tomorrow and you actually think that your teacher doesn't like you and you believe that she doesn't, what's going to end up happening is you're going to continually create this environment in which she doesn't really like you and she doesn't think you're a great student. But if you change your perception, change your thinking, and change your beliefs, your teacher does like you. And so this morning before she went to school, I said, Riley, what do you want to create today? She said, I want, to, I want my teacher to like me. I said, okay, your teacher does like you already. Don't wait for it. Don't believe that she will like you. Instead, know that she already does. Believe that thing. There are no limitations upon you. The problem is this. The pitfalls to belief is that if Riley thinks in her mind, my teacher likes me, while simultaneously believing that she doesn't, she's actually sabotaging the very thing she wants to create. So many of you are wanting to create a business and you're like, I believe this could su succeed. I really, I have this vision. I have this idea. I believe it could succeed. And then simultaneously, you're kind of coming in. Other people call this doubt. The thing is, it's not really doubt. It's just faith in the exact opposite thing that you want. You want to create this and you actually are believing or have faith that you can't. And so instead of, I talk about healing, instead of trying to energetically heal someone, instead realize the truth. They're already healed. Bring forth from within your own health their healing. Bring forth whatever you want to manifest from within yourself. There are no limitations. Don't allow the belief that you have to uh, sabotage what you're creating. Instead, make sure that all of your beliefs are lined up and laser point focused upon the thing that you want to create. The third thing, and, and, and this is not less important, but the third creative substance on our palette that we're going to talk about today is desire. Once you see it and once you believe it, once you're thinking, you're able to clearly focus in upon that thing. You need to desire that thing. Recognize, have an excitement about it. Not an excitement like, I'm going to get this thing. I'm so excited that I'm going to get this Christmas present. Like your kids are excited about Christmas coming up, right? Ah, oh, we're so excited Christmas is coming up. No, no, not an excitement about something to come, but only in the present moment. See, faith, belief is a present moment thing. It's a substance. It's present substance. And so you need to recognize it is already mine. Be excited like that woman who has, con who has conceived a child, who is, 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 has a child within her womb, like that woman who is excited about the child within her. Nobody else knows it, but she's excited. You need to carry this seed, carry this creative substance like that child and be excited that it is already yours. The business you want to create isn't down the line. It's already yours and you're going to bring it forth in manifestation. That relationship that you want is already yours and you're going to bring it into manifestation. And then the, the last thing under desire, simply enjoy it, man. Enjoy the process. Will there be challenges? Yes. Will you have to explore these things and dive into these things and, and experience, will you experience some failures along the way? Probably. That's okay. What you need to recognize is that every moment is enjoyment. Just today I was working out and I had a very intense workout and there was several moments throughout that intense workout where I couldn't breathe and I was my muscles were hurting and everything was aching and everything was sore and I thought to myself, this is so good. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing to create what I've all to create what I desire here physically. But if I had chosen to think, oh man, this is impossible, I'll never make it, this hurts so bad. If I had chosen those negative thoughts, then I would have not made it through the workout. But because I thought to myself, this is exactly why I'm here. I want this challenge, this is awesome. And I know it hurts, I know it's challenging, but that is actually going to help me produce and create the body of my dreams or the business of your dreams or how to let go of the anxiety that you've been experiencing or the stress that you've been experiencing, the family issues that you have, you can change all of it. You wanna change your work environment? Follow these three simple steps. 
You want to see your family life. Uh, let go of the drama and, 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 and just be at peace. Follow these steps. Begin to release positive energy. If you want to create the body of your dreams, follow these steps. Now, there are many more. And if you want more of these steps, we'll probably talk about them at some other point as well. But if you want more of these steps, you want to do a deep dive, I'd encourage you to go to ecstasisinstitute.org. We'd love to have you as a student there. Also, go to my Facebook page. We do weekly videos on weekly topics. Next week, we're going to be talking about love. So we'd love to actually have you participate, continually participate with us. Listen, do me a favor. Make sure you like this video. Share it with your friends. If it's impacted you at all, share it with your friends. It's been such an honor to be here with you. And final thing is please subscribe to our channel so you get notifications when we make a new video. So guys, thanks for being here. Such an honor to be with you guys. It really is my honor to be here with you guys. I do not take this lightly. I hope this has helped you and I hope it benefits you as I, I know it will benefit you. So remember, last thing, the more you awaken, the more you play. Have a happy Saturday, guys.